Hi Gemini, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at the current energies between you and your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, this is a general reading. It might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. All right. Let me just take some, some water here. All right, let's take a look at the general messages first. General messages for Gemini spirit, thank you. Okay, first card we have here is, it says cleanse, cleanse. This looks like water, drink water. I think it's recommending more water than, than what you're drinking now. Oh, I just drank water now, that's funny. <laughs> Let's take a look, we have energy. Cleanse, energy, and rest. Some of you need more rest. Uh, who doesn't, right? Everyone needs more rest. And energy. Some of you are feeling like a lack of energy. It's recommending to rest more and cleanse. I'm, just, I'm taking it as higher, a higher water intake because it looks like... It looks like water with that, with that color blue. All right, let's get to the reading. All right, Spirit, show me um, how is Gemini currently seeing and viewing the person that they're dealing with in love? Let's take a look. How is Gemini currently seeing and viewing their person? First card is the Page of Pentacles, the Page of Wands, young person. Some of you, it's young or younger than you. The Tower and Hermit in reverse. These are communication cards. Pages are, are cards that represent communication or messages, but I don't feel like you're receiving. I don't feel like you're receiving communication. and It almost feels like you might be, but it feels like being ignored a little bit. Some of you feel like some of you feel ignored by this person or you feel like you might feel like they're not taking you seriously or if they are communicating then you feel like they're not really communicating anything of real substance like whatever they're communicating is kind of inconsequential or irrelevant or superficial yeah because i'm feeling it more of like an energy of being ignored by someone 
But even if they were to be communicating to you, that you could still feel ignored um, in that way because they're not communicating anything of real substance. What's the, um, and the tower card is here, which is strange. So that can be like something falling apart. Almost like if your expectations are, are falling apart or are disintegrating. Tell me about the uh, Page of Pentacles. Eight of Cups in reverse. Hangman in reverse. Okay, tell me about the Page of Wands. Three of Cups. High Priestess in reverse. There could be a third party situation here. This could be someone who's trying, who's who's returning back to you, Gemini. Someone's making an appearance in your life, a reappearance in your life. I do, f I do feel like this is someone actually um, contacting you. Why is the tower here? Eight of Swords in reverse and the Nine of Swords. So the tower can be also an unexpected um, appearance or unexpected communication from a specific person. What's the Hermit card? Ten of Cups. Okay. What else? And the Knight of Pentacles. All right, Gemini, I'm picking up on your energy. Yeah, I think I'm looking at things through your eyes. I'm not, um, which I know that's what I asked. Um, how are you seeing this person? But sometimes um, I can see the person, the actual person, um, as well as how you're seeing them. I don't, <clears throat> I don't feel like that's the case here. I feel like I'm looking at it just through your eyes. I don't feel like I'm looking at the actual person, so I'm gonna do that next. But in regards to you, I feel like, it's like what I said, this person might be coming towards you with communication. Um, they might be reappearing in your life. Um, but you don't feel very convinced with this person or by this person. You don't feel really convinced by their energy or by their, by their words or by their attitude. You might feel like this person is up to no good or you might feel like this is not a serious person. And I feel like there's a a resistance here to to let this person in your life or back in your life there there's a resistance on your part i don't think you trust them i think you might see them as someone who is immature or possibly a player. Okay, I'm gonna get off this. I'm gonna, I wanna see who this person is now cause I don't feel like that showed me anything about them. Tell me about this person, spirit. Who's this person coming towards Gemini?
Who's this person coming towards Gemini? We have strength. <clears throat> can be a Leo for some of you. Seven of Cups in reverse. Three of Pentacles. King of Wands in reverse. Four of Cups in reverse. Eight of Wands in reverse. Wow, this person is uh, closed off. Very closed off. I don't think you're actually receiving communication from them with the Eight of Wands in reverse or not much. This might be a person of few words. What's the uh, strength card about? Five of Pentacles in reverse and the Four of Wands in reverse. We do have the Five of Pentacles in reverse, which does represent um, revisiting the past or wanting, re wanting to return back to the past. All right, so I do feel like there is an energy of someone wanting to return back to you or to reconnect with you. I do feel like they're hiding themselves though or like they're hiding their true feelings, their true desires, their true intentions. What's the Three of Pentacles about, Spirit? The Queen of Swords and the Fool in Reverse. What's the King of Wands? The Knight of Swords in Reverse and the Ten of Wands. Okay. Queen of Cups in Reverse and the Star. So this person is... Um, God, this person's not doing anything at all. Knight of Pentacles in reverse, seven of wands. This person is pushing you away. This is a contradictory person. I think that's what's going on here. They're contradicting themselves. They love you. They want to be with you, but they're completely pushing you away with their immaturity with their behavior with their attitude they're pushing you away but they want to be with you so obviously complete contradiction the world and the moon this is someone who's scared they're scared to to be vulnerable, they're scared to um, expose their real emotions. I feel like this is someone who has some deep-seated issues related to their past. I don't feel like it has anything to do with you. I really don't. I don't feel like it has anything to do with you. I feel like this is their own issues related to their own past. It looks like this is someone who needs a lot of healing, like a lot of personal healing. Right now, I really don't feel like this is someone who has much to offer you, Gemini. I feel like... They're too, they're too disturbed right now. They're, they have too much tr like trauma or like, um, like emotional baggage. And I do feel like they have like a low sense of self-worth or low self-esteem. And it looks like they really need someone they really need someone, they really want someone. 
but when the opportunity is there, they push them away. And I feel like that's what's happening with this person. I feel like they really want you, they, they need you. It's like there's a need for, for, a, for your comfort or for your company or for your support, for your care. But if you were to give that to this person, they would block you or they would push you away. So, you know, what are you going to do then? They're very emotionally immature and emotionally unavailable. But this part five of pentacles feels really strong. So I feel like, I don't know if they attempted to return back to you or not, but I feel like there's their, their energy is wanting to return back to you and reconnect with you. But just their their behavior is not supporting that it's put they're pushing you away in the way that they're behaving so it's kind of very hot and cold with them hot and cold energy okay so um what are your feelings gemini let me just take a look at that real quick How does Gemini currently feel about this person? Thank you, Spirit. Six of Cups in reverse, Four of Wands, Ten of Swords. Nine of Wands in reverse, Eight of Cups, and the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Some of you feel like this is a, a toxic, repetitive cycle with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Okay, so I do see that there's feelings here. We have Six of Cups in Reverse and the Four of Wands. Um, you care about this person? You have feelings for this person? You feel you have passion for this person? But we have the Ten of Swords and we have the Eight of Cups. Um, some of you are just walking away because you feel like this person is not reciprocating your your energy or your feelings or your care you might feel like they're not reciprocating your care you might feel like you're you're giving a lot more than you're receiving from them why is the eight of cups here spirit Queen of Pentacles and the Two of Swords. Yeah, this is you like protecting your heart. You know, putting a, a shield over your heart. And the Queen of Pentacles is all about kind of being realistic. Um, accepting things for what they are or seeing things for what they are. You're putting yourself first. You're putting your, your best interests first. You're putting, and I feel like you're putting your feelings to the side and you're walking away because that's what's 
that's what you know is going to be good good for you or the best for you in the in the long in the long run yeah cuz the queen of pentacles she she thinks about the future so i feel like you know in the long run you might feel like what's best for you is to detach because you might feel like if you don't, it's going to continue being a repetitive cycle. Why is the, um, why are these cards here? Six of cups and four of wands. Tower in reverse and the three of wands. Six of pentacles and the ace of pentacles. You know, I feel like you really wanted to work on this, Gemini. I feel like you really wanted to work on this um, relationship. But a relationship, you know, it, 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 it can only be supported by two people working together. And you might feel like, you know, you're missing that other person. You're missing that other person, like that person is absent. They're not showing up for you. And you can't support this relationship all on your own. So just kind of like logically, it doesn't make sense for you to, to stay. Hmm. Feel like you need advice or something? Well, let's get the romance angels here. Oh, well, we're 22 minutes in the video. This is a long video. Let me, let me hurry up here. Any advice for Gemini spirit? Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Hmm, that's a good advice. Anything else? Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visu visualizations. God, that was hard. Help bring you together. Gemini, I feel like you, you have somebody better coming along for you, okay? So I would say don't feel bad about what, whatever is going on with this person. Um, like the card says, stay optimistic about your love life. Um, Ace of Pentacles is here. There's a new beginning coming for you, okay? So definitely um, keep your faith high, okay? All right, Gemini, I hope this helped you and I hope it resonated. If it did, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys, take care.